you will learn about access-based access control ABAC for Azure Container Registry. This feature will resolve one of the limitations of Azure Container Registry. That limitation is that when we assign airbag roles for a container registry, the role will be applied for all the repositories inside the registry. That's because the airbag access will be applied at the registry level, not at the repository level. With ABAC, this will change. Access-based access control will narrow down the role assignment permissions to specific repositories instead of the entire registry. This means that multiple applications can share the same ACR Azure Container Registry, but each application or each namespace in a, in a case cluster can have its own repository or even its own set of repositories. So with ABAC, if we set an Azure Container Apps, for example, App1 to be able to access the repository for team one slash app one, and only that, then this means that it cannot access the team two application two because that's dedicated only for the application number two. And the same could be applicable for an AKS cluster at the cluster level or even at the namespace level. So you can have each namespace is managed by a different team and each team would have its own set of uh, Docker images available within the ACR. This feature is not yet available enabled by default, you need to enable it explicitly. For that, just two steps. First of all, you enable the Azure feature that is a low attribute based access control. And then you enable the feature on your ACR by specifying the role assignment mode to be a back repository permissions. So with this new role, the old ACR specific roles like the ACR pull, ACR push, ACR delete, image signer, they will be replaced by a new set of airbag roles. Those are four new roles. So you would have an ACR registry catalog listener, lister. This will list all the repositories within the registry. And another role, ACR repository contributor. This one will be able to read, write, and delete the repositories, but it cannot list the catalog. And then you'd have a reader role. As the name suggests, this would have only access to read only. And then we have the writer role that would have the access for read and write only. Unlike the contributor, it does not have the right to delete a repository. So when we use ABAC, we need to use these four new roles. How to, to assign these airbag roles using ABAC? So from the Azure portal, when you go to assign a new role to a managed identity or service principle or a user, you will specify the actions you want to apply choose one of the previous roles and then choose the specific operations like pull artifacts or list metadata. And then the important part is this expression or this condition. So for this specific condition, for example, we want this managed identity to have the right to pull and list the artifacts metadata from this registry, but not to all the repositories. So we specify the exact repositories by using an operator. In this case, we can type the name of a specific repository or we can use like regular expressions, regex, but using operators. So here you can say, for example, this managed identity would have access to the repositories that their names starts with the value team one slash. This means that any Docker image that is available within the repository team one slash, that that could be anything, then it would have access to that repository. And note this, uh, with this value team one slash behind there could be one or multiple Docker images. So here we have used the operator starts with ignore, ignore case, and there are lots of other operators. So if you want to apply the ABAC for a specific name of a repository, you can use string equals, you can negate that. There is also string like, not like, you can also put some values in an array and there is a lot more of uh, operations that you can use. So this could be done either using the Azure portal, which is the easiest option, but this could also be done using the Azure command line or Infra as code tools like Bicep and Terraform. Follow me next to see a demonstration on how we can use ABAC for ACR. In this demonstration, you will learn how ABAC assignments works with ABAC in ACR, Azure Container Registry. For our demonstration, we'll go to create an Azure Container Registry that contains two repositories for App1 and App2. And then we'll create two container apps, 
the first one should have access only to the app one and the second container apps should have access only to the second repository and then we'll create also an AKS cluster that should have access to one repository and should not have access to the second repository and we'll test for the role assignments we'll be using azure managed identities so we'll have a managed identity for AKS and a managed identity for each container apps to help you creating these resources you can use this github repository that is available on this link right here AKS course slash 410 ACR ABAC and from here you would find a description of a back and what we'll do so here you'll find the commands to register the feature and then you will find the commands to run the terraform code in order to create the following resources i've cloned that repository in my local machine and from here i would have the different resources so first of all we create a container apps environment and then we create first container app we call it aca app one and then into that container apps we want to deploy an image that is hosted on our container registry under team one slash app one v1 this image was created autom automatically within the acr azure container registry so here we create the registry and then we'll go to enable acr abac into that registry for that you can either use the command line by specifying dash dash role assignment mode to be abac repository permissions or you can just use the az api Terraform provider in order to perform that operation and that's what I have done right here So I just change within the properties the rule assignment mode to be ABAC repository permissions Then ABAC will be enabled on that repository then to make it simple to use this registry I go to import some images into that repository. So first image the two images are actually the same So they are using this image from inspector uh, gadget we'll go just to rename it to team one slash app one v1 and the same for the second image but it will be named team two slash app two v1 this is for the demonstration we want to keep things simple once these resources are deployed using the terraform apply dash auto approve command then when you go to the azure portal and then navigate to the resource group you should see that here you have this follow those following resources so here we can see our container registry if i navigate there then if I go to JSON view, then go to the latest API version available, then navigate to the last config of properties here. Note here we have role assignment mode is set to ABAC repository permissions. Great. So now if I navigate to the repositories, I should see the two repositories that I have imported, which are team1 slash app1 and team2 slash app2. Both uses the same tag v1. Great. So now I want the two container apps to use those two different images for that i've created here two files for azure container apps number one and number two the number one will create will use just that uh, first image and container app two will use the second image for these container apps to access that registry and to access only that repository we'll go to use the abac with airbag assignments for that note that here both container apps uses an Azure managed identity, user managed identity for, to access the registry. So for each container apps here, I've created a managed identity. And this managed identity is the one that will have the, or will handle the access to the repository within the registry. That access will be done through the role assignments. So here we specify the role ACR repository reader, reader or low to pull the images. And then we specify the scope. Note here the scope is the entire registry. But later with the condition, here we'll specify the exact repository name. For that here we are using the operator string starts with ignore case. And here we'll specify the repository that its name starts with team1 slash. Remember that within our container registry, we have these two repositories. And then for the application number two, it's the same configuration, except that the application number two will have access only to the repository that its name starts with team two. Great. So now here we have the Azure container apps, the app number one. It's running. Let's check that. If I open the URL for that container apps. Yes, we can see here that it's running successfully. The image was pulled from the container registry specific repository and it's running. Great. It should be the same for the Azure Container Apps number two. If I open its URL, then again, I should see it's running successfully. 
Great, so each container app did have access to a specific repository because of that ABAC role or of because of the ABAC condition that we have specified and applied on the container registry. Let's take a look at that ABAC uh, configuration. So within my container registry, if I go to access control, then navigate to role assignments, you can actually go to add a new role assignment just to show you how you can do this within the Azure portal. Then here you will find the new roles that will be applicable for the ABAC roles. We will find the listener, the contributor, the reader, and the writer. Let's choose, for example, the reader. Then if I go next, I can select a member. That could be a user or a service principal, a group, an entra ID, or that could be also a managed identity, whether that is system or user assigned managed identity. In my case, it's managed identity. So I go to select that managed identity, user assigned, and I'll choose the one from identity container apps number one. For example, it's selected here. So I selected again to add it to this list. And then if I go next, then here you can find this conditions new tab where we can add a new condition to assign the ABAC roles. We're here to ask if you want to use either the visual designer, it means this graphical user interface, or you can simply use the code in order to write the condition. Let's keep things simple and let's use the visual designer where here we should first start by specifying the condition, condition number one. So from here we can add an action. Here we have two actions, pull the artifacts and list the metadata about the artifact. Let's select both because we need both for the reader role. And then next, the step number two is the build expression where here we go to add a new expression and then we'll find this visual configuration that will help us to define the condition. So for the attribute source, the only option today available is the source. And then for the attribute, this will act on the repository name. And then for the operator, you have multiple ones here. Let's choose string starts with ignore case because we want to assign the roles for a repository that its name starts with a specific string like team one slash whatever. So any image that is within this repository will be accessible by that managed identity. And then you just do save and that role assignment will be applicable. I've already did that with the Terraform code. So now if I go back to the access control and then if I go to role assignments, I should see those different identities from container apps number one, number two, and from the AKS kubelet identity, the, all of them, they have reader access role on the repository within ACR. But they have access on different repositories. So let's check the one from app, uh, app two, for example. You will see within the condition that this one would have access to the repository that its name starts with team number two. Great, we have also the kubelet identity for the AKS cluster. Let's check its access roles. So this one would have the right ACR repository reader. And with that reader access, it would have access to the team one repository. So it would have access to only team one, but not team two. Let's try to test that. So from for that, I'll switch here to my AKS cluster, where here I'm connected to my cluster. I can get the nodes of my cluster. And then I'll go to try to run the command cube control run, then specify the name of the application. Let's say app one. And let's try to pull that image from my ACR registry. And here we'll try to pull the image that it's normally allowed to pull, which is the image that its repository starts with team one. So let's run that. Great, here tells me that the pod was deployed. Let's try to get the list of uh, uh, pods. And yes, here the pod is running successfully. But let's now try to run an application number two or a pod that is called app two. But let's try in this case to pull the image from the team two that it should not have access to. Tells me the pod is created. Let's verify that by using the command get pods dash w for watch. And here you see immediately that there is a problem with that uh, image up to here we have error image pool, image pool back off. And that is simply because the kubelet identity used by the AKS cluster does not have access to that repository within the registry. Great. And that was how to use ABAC for ACR. I hope this demonstration was helpful. If you are looking for more videos about Azure container apps, Kubernetes and Terraform, then you can find some useful content on my YouTube channel. Thank you.